Hey everybody out there on uh, YouTube. Uh, this is a quick video review of a homemade carbonator system that I made. Um, I made it for probably about 35 bucks. So I'm just gonna show you guys how it works and uh, kind of go through a rundown of the parts and stuff like that. Uh, basically, if you've seen the soda stream uh, on TV or online, uh, this kind of works the same way. Um, it's a non-agitating carbonator, which means like if you go to a restaurant or a commercial carbonation setup, uh, those typically work where they have, it's a gas input and liquid going through and it's an agitator. And the motor actually agitates the liquid with the CO2, causing the, the liquid to absorb the CO2, where this one obviously is non-motorized, uh, but I built it really cheap. That's a cool part about it. And obviously it's really cheap to fill because it's a standard five pound tank, not a little tiny CO2 tank that comes in like the soda stream or one of the air gun uh, 25 gram uh, CO2 powerlets that some of the soda carbonators use. Much more economical to use. So uh, basically I've got a welding regulator and it's got an input pressure on it coming off the tank. It's dual gauges so you know how much you've got in your tank, which you don't exactly because CO2 is a liquid, but it just gives you your pressure anyway. So I've got a thousand PSI coming in off the tank. And then up here, this is the output pressure. So the regulator lowers the pressure going out this hose and into the water that you're carbonating. And it's adjustable regulator. So I've set this right now at about 40 PSI is what I'm running, 40, 45, somewhere in there. I've run it up to about 60 PSI. Um, the only problem with running that high is a lot of times if you have soda already or some type of like juice in the container that you're carbonating, it'll fizz and bubble up so much that you actually lose a lot of it because it just shoots out after you've uh, carbonated it. And the soda streams, from what I understand, my buddy's got one, I think they run at like 15 PSI. So this actually carbonates about three times stronger than a soda stream. So it, it, they're really phenomenal. I mean, as far as the, uh, the power of it, this tank, uh, I'll go through, that's a five pound aluminum CO2 cylinder. You can steal these at landfills pretty much anywhere. Um, I went out and their local landfill here, uh, I picked up four of them and just throw them back to the truck, get out of there real quick uh, for free. People throw them away, I have no idea why. In hydro, nothing wrong with them. Um, two of them looked brand new, literally just like this one here. And uh, then I also got two that were 20 pound aluminum tanks, which those are a little bit too big to use in a, well, you don't really need anything that big to use in your house. So anyway, the five pound works just great. And I've got a couple other 50s. So I got that free. The regulator was about 30 bucks. It came with the gauges. The hose, I got at a commercial hose place. That was $2. This quick turn valve here, you don't really need that. You could just use this valve. But anyway, I got it. It was $3. And this adapter, which is the same type of adapter it's used on commercial um, fountains was $2.50 on eBay and this is a Mr. Carbonator cap and I got that for $6 on eBay. Both of these were free shipping and these clamps here were like uh, 25 cents or something like that for the pair off eBay also. So how you use it, I'm going to go and turn this on here on the tank and then this water is not carbonated. I'll just pour some of this glass so you guys can see it doesn't bubble up right there. No, no bubbles, just plain water. And you want to take a regular two liter soda bottle, or you can also use a one liter. That's all these are. And I'm going to dump out about a third of it to there. And then you want to squeeze out the air to get up here and displace, displace all the air out of it so it makes room for the uh, CO2. And then tighten the cap on there, the Mr. Carbonator. And then go ahead and attach your CO2. Some left in the line there. This cap actually seals itself also. Now turn this upside down so you guys can see the CO2 actually going to the tank or in the bottle. And you can see it absorbs the CO2. Now you can let it sit for about 30 minutes to carbonate it. Um, it, it takes a little bit longer if it's not being agitated or if you're you know, kind of short on time, you can just shake it for about 30 seconds and I'll go ahead and do that now. And just watch, you see very little CO2 going in. And watch after I shake it for about five seconds. I'm gonna move this cup back here. And 
And you see it really increases the flow and the absorption rate of the, the water um, absorbing the CO2. And you basically just want to keep shaking until it stops absorbing CO2 or it goes down to a real low rate. And that's good enough there. At 45 PSI, this water will be carbonated probably about the equivalent. And go ahead and turn that off. And then for safety, you always want to turn this off too, especially if you keep it in your house with these bigger tanks. That's probably enough CO2 to kill a couple people there. But the carbonation um, is amazing with a higher pressure regulator like this. And just hear the gas come out of it. And you see the bubbles here. And there you go, carbonated water. And like I said, all you want to do if you want to make soda is you can mix like a fourth of so, um, juice in with this and dilute it down with water and it really tastes just like Sprite. Uh, tea is amazing, carbonated. Um, and there's so many things that are a lot healthier than regular store-bought soda. You don't have high fructose corn syrup, all the preservatives, the colorings. I mean, just all that real nasty stuff that nobody really needs to be drinking anyway. And it's super cheap. I mean, literally you can get a 50 pound CO2 tank filled for like... 10 to $15 anywhere in the United States. Okay, you pick up a tank, a regulator, the fittings, and then just regular two liter soda bottles. If you have a 50 pound tank to fill this one off of it, you're talking about, that's about $1.30 worth of CO2, and that's enough CO2 for probably, I would say, two to 3,000 two liter bottles carbonated. So, it's like hundredths of a cent um, to make one of these, and, uh, it's just really phenomenal. So if you guys have any comments or ideas or anything like that, or if anybody else has built something like this, just uh, throw some comments up and uh, rate the video if you can. Give me good ratings. And that, you know, keeps it up in the search and all that. So uh, I'd like to hear from everybody. And thanks for watching. I'll just fill this up one more time and you guys can see it bubble up. And that's that.